If you're wondering how the TikTok algorithm works, this video is for you. Let me take the sweater off because we're going to get down and talk about this algorithm. I'm going to share the important details with you. Also, what's been working for me to get on the For You page, but also make money on TikTok. The TikTok algorithm is designed to serve its users. I don't want you to think that the algorithm like is against you. It's actually the complete opposite. According to TikTok, the system recommends content by ranking videos based on interest you express as a new user and adjusting for things you indicate you're not interested in. Meaning when people find and engage with your content, most likely it's your ideal client. That's literal magic. Instead of people you follow, like I follow Maria because she's my friend, they're gonna show you videos that you like, whether you follow them or not. So TikTok wants to make sure that you never leave their app and you're just completely obsessed. I know this is gonna feel like science class. Stick with me. There are multiple factors to tick talk number one is user activity the more engagement that your video receives the more likely it's going to be shown and pushed out to other audiences think about how many likes is your video getting how many comments is it shareable did people watch the entire video did they re-watch the video and did they end up following you with this video number two is the information that you are talking about on this video or subject matter tiktok is going to categorize your content by the user's interest and seo is really going to help i actually have a whole video about seo for beginners i'll link that below think about this your captions need to have keywords and keywords are searchable phrases that people type. Best Bay Area brunch, best Miami bar, mom self-care tips. These are keywords and these keywords help your video be discovered. One thing that's going to help you is having those keywords into your caption. You're not just going to put random keywords. You're going to make these keywords into a sentence. Another way that you're going to increase your SEO is the title because TikTok wants to know what the video is about, but also for the user experience. So your potential follower comes onto your profile, sees what your video is about and like, oh, okay, I think I can buy with this hashtags yes they do work here on tiktok don't ask me about instagram because uh it's a hit or miss there do not skip the hashtag research the next thing i want you to really focus on is location and language especially if you are a brick and mortar or you do in-person things you want to make sure the algorithm pushes out your specific area. If you're a personal trainer or a restaurant or a gym and you want people to come into it, really hone in on the location in surrounding area. Same thing with languages. If you're speaking Spanish, make sure that your caption, everything is in Spanish. Now let's talk a little bit about audio because trending is not my favorite. Hear me out, okay? The algorithm is going to categorize your content if you're using like a trending sound and really what trending sound is if you see the same video or the same sound over and over again that's a trending sound and it's going to categorize it to whatever audience is engaging with your content there's pros and cons pros you may get more seeing your content that's great i would say ride the wave if it's relevant to you you don't have to do something out crazy outside of your niche but trends are not a long term strategy. If your whole entire strategy is just to go viral with trends, that's not sustainable. Focus on evergreen content, long term content creation. One thing that I absolutely love is a not interested button. This is just feedback for you. It's very simple. Go down to the corner. You're going to see those three little dots from there. Go on the lower part where it says not interested with a broken heart and tell them why you're not interested. This is going to make sure your feed really focus on the things that you don't want to see anymore. And the TikTok algorithm is going to serve at the highest user experience. What does that mean for you? That means that people might say, I don't want to see your content. That's not a bad thing. That just means that you are weeding out the people that is not your ideal audience. Let's talk a little bit about what does not influence a TikTok algorithm. And that is follower count as well as if you have had viral videos before. That's good news. You know how much I like talking about make money even with a small following. This is our opportunity on this platform. There are creators that go viral one time with no history ever. It's just really focusing on the factors that I just told you. How are you going to get more views? on your video. Before I get into the tips, I want you to understand that just because you're going viral on TikTok doesn't mean that your business is automatically going to boom. 
I highly suggest you focus on creating some sort of community outside, whether that's an email list. I do have a video that talks about creating an email list with social. With that as a disclaimer, let's talk about how to get more views so you can continue to grow and build your online business and brand. The very first hack we're going to talk about is hooks. Hooking your audience within the first three seconds. People want to be entertained. You might start with Hey, I uh, wanted to hop on real quick and I have something to tell you. So let me tell you that, like, no one cares. <laughs> no one cares. That's already five seconds there. One of the hooks that I am obsessed with, I know that I'm going to get a little bit more traction. My friend Chelsea, I interviewed her when she had 29,000 followers. Now she's at 60. She taught me, why is nobody talking about? A travel content creator, why is nobody talking about this? Collaborating with tourism boards, you guys. Another hook that she taught me was, this may be controversial, but. This may be controversial, but going live is the most profitable way. I got this from Keith Lee. He's an amazing food blogger and I absolutely love everything that he does for the community. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. Focusing on the problem and then saying, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. But I love saying that. For example, you don't need a website to make money. Let's talk about it. Focusing on that problem or that solution that you're going to be talking about and then saying, let's talk about it. Being controversial definitely helps. I do have a whole list of hooks in the contentplan.com. If you do want to try this social space, including my TikTok masterclass trainings like personal branding, email marketing, and all of that stuff. I'll leave that link below. Let's move on to the second algorithm hack, focusing on a niche. And I understand it's anti-niche season, but let me tell you this. You're overthinking the word niche. The more consistent you are, the more the TikTok algorithm is going to recognize your expertise and serve it to the people that you want to be in front of. So I'm going to give you an example, okay? Let's say you found this restaurant, you want to go, have some lunch and it was the most bomb sushi you love the vibe so you come back tomorrow you're like okay i really want to try this other item on the menu you get there and there's no sushi they completely changed everything in a matter of 24 hours it's just steak you're like what the hella confused. Do you see what I mean? The reason why I say you're overthinking it is all you have to do is think about content themes. Just because it's a sushi restaurant doesn't mean you can't have other seafood. For example, I love to talk about monetizing social platforms. I'm heavily invested in talking about TikTok, live video, and YouTube, email marketing, same thing with beauty. You can do get ready with me, tutorial, vlog. You could talk about your family. It's not rocket science, okay? Think about a magazine, health magazine. What is it about? It's about workout. It's about mental health, best leggings, shopping hauls, best workout bag. A niche doesn't necessarily mean talk about just one thing. It's talking about this content theme or this content pillar. I hope that clarifies that. Let me know in the comments if you have been overthinking it. I know that it's an unpopular opinion to have a niche right now, but if you're here in Monetize, you may need to focus number three algorithm hack using the TikTok features. For example, maybe you can do a face to camera, test out a voiceover, the funny voices, test out the different features that Instagram buy. <laughs> Really test out the features that TikTok has for you. Even test out the times, like 15 seconds versus three minutes. Number four, algorithm hack. Figure out the best time for you. I do have a video called I Quit Instagram. I talk about how to figure out the best time for your audience. The keyword here is the best audience time for you. There is no universal time for TikTok. It really depends when your people are on. An example, post 8 a.m., post 6 a.m. Figure out which one's the better one. If 6 p.m. is performing way better, you're getting more views. Take this 8 o'clock away and bring in 12. This really helps you see what's working, what's not, and shows frequency that you need to start posting. Maybe three times a day is too much for you. You're not giving the quality content that your audience wants. Number five, it's a little bit mixed with number three, which is experiment with the length of your videos. TikTok rewards content that people watch all the way through. So it goes back to testing the best for you. A lot of the videos that have gone viral for me are three minutes. And one of the girls that I was working with said that her 15 second videos are the best performing. Test that out.
Number six, don't delete your old content. TikTok, they want to be respected like YouTube. An old video can go viral days and months after you posted it. And this is what happened to my video on YouTube. I, the very first day that I did YouTube and it didn't pick up for months. That is my highest performing YouTube video. Just leave it. It doesn't matter if it gets 10 views only. It, that means that 10 people enjoyed it. They interacted, whatever the case may be. Leave it and study it. Did you miss SEO? Did you actually put captions? What do you need to improve and leave it. At the end of the day, there's no way to really beat the TikTok algorithm. It's serving your audience and what they want to see. You stay consistent with your branding, your messaging, building the brand loyalty, have trust and taking them off of social with an email list. And that's exactly what we're talking about in the next video. Bye.